In this video, we're going to be using First Line Shave slash Black Mountain Shaving Sutton and the Above the Tie Windsor Pro SB90. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I am your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back, and we have a good one for you today. Today, we are using a collaboration soap, and this one is a collaboration between Black Mountain Shaving and First Line Shave, and this one is Sutton, and this is based on the Moonshiner uh, Popcorn Sutton from uh, Appalachia in uh, North Carolina, and the price on this to start is $23 for four ounces, and on our cost chart there, that's pricey. At $5.75, we give that a score of two out of five. The scent on this is quite stout. I'm gonna put the scent description for you on the screen right there. Oud, cedar, balsam, tobacco, absolute, and cashmere. What I get mostly is the oud and the tobacco. So if you like oud and tobacco, you might absolutely love this scent. It is very, very strong as well. I give the scent quality three out of five. It's a darker scent. Darker scents generally aren't my favorite. I do like it, but I don't love it. It's powerful too. Scent strength on this one, five out of five. It is a very, very stout indeed. This is in the first line shave tallow uh, base. I'm going to put the ingredients for you on the screen right there. Very, very good quality. So I really enjoyed lathering it. I'd give ease of use on this five out of five. I'm going to show you a lather shot right there. It was no problem whatsoever to get super nice, super creamy. You always know you're in good hands with first line shave in terms of quality and their scents tend to be quite stout and this is no exception. So if oud, cedar, and some of those notes sound good to you, you might be interested uh, in this one. And it uh, should be a nice collaboration with Black Mountain Shaving. I think I've used a Black Mountain Shaving collaboration soap before Murphy and McNeil Pisgah, I think, if memory serves. So we'll see how this goes during the shave today. But I'm gonna tell you right now, the scent is bold and banging, as DK would say. So DK, this might be one for you because it's darker and it's got some punch. It's like blam right in the face with that scent. So uh, I almost forgot to talk about the razor. <laughs> the razor for today, is the Above the Tie. This is the Windsor Pro Series SB90, and this runs $99 at Above the Tie. It's made of 303 stainless steel. The blade gap on this one is 0 0.90, and Above the Tie rates it as six out of nine in aggression, and it's got a nascent blade in there on its third and final use, so we look forward to using that today. And don't forget, uh, if you would like to get a discount at Above the Tie 10%, use discount code IMCDB, and save some money while shopping at Above the Tie. All right, let's get into the shave today. We'll start by misting the face, and then we're gonna apply this ladder, lather, excuse me. And again, like I said before, strong scent on this one. So dark scent lovers, this one might be uh, for you. Like I said, I like it, but I don't love it. It's stout. <laughs> and it's just not my style of scent, but don't think funk, because there's no funk. There's nothing offensive about this soap. But it is bold and banging, as DK would say. I think this would be right in DK's wheelhouse, to be honest with you. Um, and the lather quality on this is, is absolutely first rate. It's uh, first line shape, first rate lather. You <laughs> might expect that. But anyway, this one is one of those that I imagine if you get the EDT or the splash, uh, which they did send the splash, but I forgot to bring it in here. I apologize for that. This one is going to hang on you, I do believe. It is one of those scents that is... You're not going to be able to miss this one. And it's meant to sort of um, represent the scent of the still sight out in the woods with all the wood going and the smoke. And I do get a little smoke too. I think I forgot about that part. It does come across as just smoky, oud, tobacco, some cedar. It's definitely a nice, unusual uh, scent, but it's a little dark for me. I, I do find it pleasant, but... Um, you know me, I prefer, you know, uh, lighter and brighter. Well, not lighter. I prefer brighter scents generally. But I tell you what, it is pleasant and you cannot miss it. <laughs> and I know I've said that a number of times before, but First Line Shave has a tendency to, uh, they make scents that are not hard to get your nose around because you get them when you open that tub. And honestly, when I opened the tub, I thought it was um, 
probably medium to medium high, but once you lather it, it, this one really comes alive in my opinion. So we look forward to using it today. And this was sent to us, by the way, by First Line Shave. So thank you, First Line Shave. Really appreciate that. And that is nice. The razor feels really nice. Definitely get some good blade feel here on the SB90. And their Windsor Pro line is um, a little bit uh, less expensive or actually a lot for some people. So the regular above the tie razors usually start at around 185. These are under $100, the uh, SB90, the uh, Windsor Pro series, I should say. And I'll link it below for you if you're interested. And that feels very nice and very smooth. No quality issues whatsoever with the first line shave. So it's always been a soap that in terms of uh, the quality, I've never had any issues with first line shave. It's a very high quality soap. I don't always like every single scent, um, but I do find that I've liked more of those, uh, more of their scents than not. I think I've only missed on a couple. Like uh, when I got Fallout, I did not like that one at all. But at the time, I think there was a little bit of a base funk, and I am very sensitive to any sort of funky uh, scent. And I think it had a, a base issue. They've since fixed that. That's been you know two years ago. That's the only one I really missed hard on. Um, otherwise, I've found that I've gotten along with most of their scents. They typically do very nice scents. And I think if you're a fan of a darker scents, this one might be for you. At first, you know, when I saw uh, Popcorn and I realized it was sort of uh, Pop, or excuse me, Sutton. Popcorn Sutton was the Moonshiner's uh, nickname, I'm sorry. When I first saw Sutton, I thought it would be boozy. It's not really boozy. It's more, it's meant more to sort of capture the scent of the still sight, not necessarily the booze itself. And I can, it sort of takes me on that journey, to be honest. I think they've, they've captured that with this soap. Um, you can definitely see how you can put those two things together. And so it's pretty awesome. And I think the, uh, the artwork on this, capturing those dark woods of uh, Appalachia, I think that's, that's on target too. It's, it's kind of cool. All right. Let's, uh, first pass was outstanding, no problems whatsoever. Really, really nice. And we will proceed on with pass number two. Quality wise, fantastic, and I'll tell you right now, quality on this, five out of five, no question about it. I've always had good look with first line shave in terms of quality, slickness, cushion glide, all the attributes you want, it's right there. Soap's a little bit pricey, um, but it's very good stuff. So when, you, when I find a scent that I really love from first line shave, it's worth it for me. Um, and I own quite a few of them. Um, I think James is really outstanding from First Line. It's It's got a it's sort of a, what I call a darker peach. And a lot of people overlook that one, but you should not because it, it's really, it's really nice. And I think that a lot of people are going to like this offering as well because it, it's definitely um, unusual, I would say. And it's, it is, it is very bold. This one does not play around. You know, it's not... It's not light and breezy. It's like bam, right in the face with those, uh, with that oud. And the, and by the way, I know some people are sort of afraid of oud. It's it doesn't have any funk whatsoever. Um, so it's just more. You can definitely tell the oud is there, but it's not funky. So do not fear the funk in this one. But it is. I would call it a darker scent for sure. All right. The first pass was outstanding. Let's see if we can continue on with that in pass number two uh, today. I'm going to be uh, switching off with my sister. You know, my, my mother's in the hospital. She's preparing to get a stem cell, you know, bone marrow transplant. And my sister and I here are caregivers. So today I'm off to the hospital and we'll be there for the day. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, although it's never fun to be in the hospital, I'm looking forward to, you know, being there with my my sister's been there the last couple of days and i said well let me give you a break for a couple of days we're sort of switching back and forth so that should be nice i mean it's not nice she's uh, right now going through intensive chemo and in preparation for the stem stem cell transplant but um you know it'd be nice just to catch up because uh she's been there a couple of days and you think you can only have one visitor a day otherwise i would already stop by there but those are the rules and so we look forward to doing that. All right, let's relight it for a quick cross pass. Again, quality on this, fantastic, no question about it. Definitely, if you haven't tried First Line Shave, give them a shot. And don't forget about the other collaboration 
that Black Mountain Shaving does. It's called Pisca with uh, Murphy. You know, it's another darker scent. So I think uh, Black Mountain Shaving, I think it called them Shave before Black Mountain Shaving. They tend to do darker uh, scents in their collaboration. They probably prefer, you know, some people really like these sort of scents uh, or prefer them, I should say, because I don't find it unpleasant. But is this uh, a scent that I would purchase myself? No, it's just not my type of scent. But it is very, very nice. I will say that. Very nice indeed. All right. And the razor is feeling great as well. It's very smooth. It's quite efficient. Again, uh, above the tie rates it at six out of nine. And I'd say that's, that's on target. Very smooth. Uh, I like it a lot. The above the tie uh, razors generally are quite good. Oh yeah, that is nice. I just got lost for her. <laughs> Sometimes you're just in the middle of a shave and you're just uh, lost in the shave and it's just feeling great. And yeah, that, that's just fantastic. Um, the soap here, very, very slick. Just gliding effortlessly. So don't worry about quality problems. The question for this soap for you will be, um, do you like this sort of scent? If you do, you'll probably enjoy it. And you will not have to search to find the scent. You know, I know a lot of people are disappointed when they get a soap and it's hard for them to pick up the scent. Have no fear on this one. Cause this one is going to, especially when you lather it. I thought off the tub, medium to medium high, when you lather it, high. <laughs> so people are oftentimes asking, you know, what's a soap that has a lot of scent strength? This would be one. This would be one. It's not overpowering um, to my nose, but you can't miss it. You know, you don't have to really huff you know, the tub to get it. That's what I'm trying to say. And it is very slick and very nice. That is just fantastic. Oh, we're having an excellent shave here today. And I expected it would be fantastic, honestly. So thanks to First Line for uh, sending this over. At some point, I won't do it now, because again, I don't have my printer here to print the postage and send it out. We will put this set up for giveaway. Um, that will be a little bit down the road. And the reason I'm not putting it up for giveaway now is I won't be, I won't be able to ship it because I'm not going to the post office right now. And I don't have a printer here to print a postage for you. But we will put the set up for giveaway because I have the splash as well. And so thank you to First Line Shave for that. All right. That is nice. Just an excellent, smooth shave today. The razor is great. Soap is great. Everything's great. And hopefully... That's gonna start off our day and keep that positive momentum going. That's what we wanna do. We wanna keep positivity flowing. All right, outstanding. Excellent shave today. All right, let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off camera did a rinse to get rid of the soap and then we applied our PAA alum. After applying the alum, there was no stinging, so super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice indeed. Following the alum, we did another cool water rinse and then we tailed off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the magic made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. We had an excellent shave today with, this is First Line Shave slash Black Mountain Shaving Sutton and we will run down the scores for you right now. Cost, two out of five. Scent quality, three out of five. Scent strength, five out of five. Ease of use, five out of five. Overall quality, five out of five. And that brings us to a total score of 20 out of 25. So I always have to answer the question when I'm sent a product for evaluation, would I buy this with my own money? Based on scent for me, the answer would be no. Based on quality, yes. This scent is pleasant for me, but it's darker and I'm not really a big scent of dark sort of scents. However, I will say, if you like oud, tobacco, a little smokiness, wood, it is a blast in the face and you may absolutely love this. So check this out if that sounds great to you. It is definitely a a high quality soap without question and it brings some punch to it so keep that in mind. We used our above the tie SB90. This is the Windsor Pro Series. Again runs about $99 and it was an excellent shave with this today. We used our Razor Rock 400 brush and it's in our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug. And I'm going to finish it off today with fine platinum. Uh, I apologize I forgot to bring the Sutton Splash in here so again I apologize for that but the good news is that set will be up for giveaway uh, it'll probably be you know a couple of months um, before I'm able to do that but I will be 
giving it away to you all. So thank you so much for watching today. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a fantastic day. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.